first of all i'm stressed this is not working at all send help So I started off with some leave-in conditioner on my hair because I wanted to make sure it was moisturized before applying this product. So I ran it all the way through and actually blew out my hair after this. Lord knows why because it made absolutely no difference. And here I am sectioning off my hair to apply the product. So I started with a fairly small amount because I wasn't sure just how saturated it was. And I started from the ends of my hair and then gradually worked all the way up to my roots. Now from the jump it had started to clump my hair together and not in a nice kind of way like oh my god my curls are so clumped they're so nice and defined no clumped as in matted together and sticking to one another so as soon as i started to comb through i realized that something was off like i said my hair was already moisturized and blown out so i don't know why it was taking so long for the comb to run through my hair then when i got all the way up to the top and i was ready to do the flat twist all the way down i could not separate my hair i couldn't and from the very first section i was already getting so frustrated because my hair was detangled my hair was soft my hair was ready i know this so it took a really long time for me to comb out each section which is already a bad thing and then when i was going down the length of it even though i had just combed out my hair i had to keep running my fingers through my hair and separating it still because it just kept tangling back up So just to show you up close this is what the product looks like very saturated in the container but not so much on my hair so i ended up putting a lot more on the second section than i did on the first section because i was going for a deeply saturated kind of look something that was very bright and covered all of my hair i just wanted to be a very vibrant green which is what i was hoping for but as you can see even from here that's not what i was getting and again my hair was tangled it was very difficult to pull apart it was it was a mess it was like i hadn't even combed out my hair in the beginning so this part of the process took a very very long time and it was so annoying to me i never had a product on my hair that made it feel like this it was ridiculous So after spending way too much time on my hair i finally finished all of the flat twists so this is what we are looking like and there is some residue quite a bit of residue actually on my hands which was completely fine because it washed off very easily and i ended up using almost the entire container bear in mind that my undercut is still growing out so the back of my hair is a lot shorter than the rest of it so i feel like if i had the same length all throughout my hair i would have definitely needed the entire container so this this is just where we are First of all, I'm stressed. I don't even know what other word to use. Dog, I'm stressed. Brother, it's been two days. Zin, two whole days. And my hair still isn't dry. It's not like, can you hear? It's, it's wet. It's moist, it's wet, and besides that, my hair feels absolutely terrible. I ch <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Nothing wrong. What did I do to deserve this? I didn't do, me not, not to nobody, no. My good youth, my not trouble people. I just go about my business, doing what I'm supposed to do. What did I do to deserve this? Two days, you know. 
two whole days and then on top of that because there's always something else it's just kind of caked up sitting on top looking like it's definitely for sure going to flake when i pull it out and i don't even know when that's going to be because it's not completely dry and i'm caught between pulling it out now and just like washing it out because it's not dry and i don't like how it's making my hair feel and then just maybe pushing through waiting the rest of the week for it to dry since obviously that's how long it's gonna take and then just seeing how things turn out this is not working at all and i've never ever put a product on my hair and had it feel and it's it's, it's trash i don't want it to be trash i want it to be good i want it to work i want to support the youths because it's a small business and i like supporting small businesses and i like the idea of the hair paint thing but it just not work right now i'm disappointed i'm stressed i'm stressed <laughs> i'm so stressed and the sun keeps bouncing off on my forehead like i know it's big you know to remind everybody so i'm going to wait it out see what happens when it's dry send help so i don't have the time to wait for this to dry on its own you see me so i'm just going to blow dry it um honestly i'm not even hoping for the best anymore i just want to see it i just want to see it all the way through to know what it's gonna look like and to give you guys an idea of what's happening you see me so i'm going on so i'm gonna put the blow dryer on high but i'm keeping it on cool um and i'm gonna see how quickly i can just get this out of my hair By now, I've definitely been doing this for far too long, you see me? Um, it's still, there's still stuff coming off, so obviously it's still wet. I'm going to take this down right now, and whatever happens, happens. To help reduce some of the friction between my hands and my hair, I'm using just a few pumps of oil, and this is a hair growth oil by Nancy's Kitchen, it's one I've been using lately. I'm going to start from the really short ones in the very back. It's not even pulling apart what cheese on. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it i don't care for it i would not recommend it my hair i think this is the worst my hair has ever felt it. my hair feels dry but the product which is wet is still sitting on top of my hair not a good combination at all my hair does not like this i'm going to blow dry one more time because it's wet wet and i don't want it to get all like foof. you see me okay i can't live under these conditions All right, so here are my final thoughts on the product. I don't, I don't like it. Um, all right, you know what, let's start with the pros and then we can go to the cons. So positives first, the curl definition, please don't look at my eyelashes. <laughs> the curls are not bad. Like I said, there is some, the curls are doing a thing like it's not terrible, the curls can work. Um, so that's one good thing. The other good thing is that there is little to no transfer. So even though I was wearing a white shirt before, it wasn't like flaking all over and messing it up. So that was good. So there are two things. Great. Excellent. Um, the cons, which to me definitely outweigh everything else. My hair does not feel good at all it feels brittle it's kind of crunchy it's stiffish i don't really know it doesn't i really don't like how my hair feels and then it took so long to dry 
even though it's not completely dry, especially by like the roots, still not totally dry even though it's been two full days and I blow dried it to kind of speed up that process. And even though it's pale, it's just sitting on my hair, kind of clumped up in different sections. So that's not really working. Like I really was hoping that it would grow on me and eventually I would kind of start to like it, but it's not. Um, it's not, especially because it makes my hair feel so, ugh, I don't know, it, just, it feels like trash, it feels like dry and ugh. And let's be clear, this is not to say that it won't necessarily work for somebody else, it just didn't work for me. I feel like it would have to work on some people for them to keep selling it, I guess. But it never worked out on my hair at all. I went through the whole process as I was supposed to. I gave it time to dry. I tried to like it. I was hopeful about the process, but it just didn't work for me. That's just me. Uh, however, I will be trying... I feel like I'm not looking in the camera. Um, I am going to be trying different brands of hair paint, wax or temporary hair color, whatever it is, to see the difference. Because I've seen some really, really good videos of persons saying it works so well and I love the color and it looks so vibrant. That's what I want. I don't want this. I don't know what this is like. I don't know her. I've never seen her in my life. Who is this? Anyway. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video and I hope that at the very least this video was helpful or informative or you got something from it at all. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today and you will see me next time.